Buckwheat is the most common summer cover crop in southern New England. It grows fast, works well to smother weeds, attracts beneficial insects, and makes phosphorus available for the following crop. However, buckwheat has some drawbacks. Buckwheat has a small, shallow root system that does not add much organic matter to the soil and does not tolerate flooding or mowing, all of which can be problematic for cover crops. The University of Rhode Island Vegetable Production Team looked at alternatives to buckwheat for summer planting in between cash crops. One which looks promising is Brassica juncia, otherwise known as mustard. Mustard belongs to the family Brassicaceae. Brassica and mustard cover crops are known for their rapid growth and great biomass production. Like buckwheat, mustard is effective at smothering weeds and providing habitat for beneficial insects. But mustard roots much more deeply than buckwheat. This allows it to reduce soil compaction and draw nitrogen up from deeper layers of soil. In recent years, mustard has garnered interest due to its potential pest management characteristics. By incorporating a mustard crop into the soil during the pod fill stage, chemical compounds are released that can be toxic to soil-borne pests. Pests such as nematodes, fungi, and certain weeds. In the Northeast, mustard has been used as a fall-planted cover crop that winter kills. It grows well in cool conditions and can give 100% ground cover. But because it grows so quickly, it can also serve as an effective summer cover crop, flowering in 4-6 to six weeks with excellent weed suppression. To determine the window of opportunity for successfully establishing mustard in Rhode Island, the URI Vegetable Production Team looked at the effects of seeding date and seeding rate on mustard plantings during the summer of 2016. The ability of mustard to establish and grow under summer conditions was tested by seeding every two weeks from June 2nd to July 22nd at a rate of 10 pounds per acre. All seeding dates provided similar levels of weed suppression. While mustard was effective at suppressing weeds, it was less effective than buckwheat. Seeding after the summer solstice resulted in the most biomass at six weeks after planting, up to two tons per acre. By allowing the crop to grow for an additional two weeks, biomass increased for some dates, but not for others. Buckwheat accumulated biomass more quickly than mustard, producing significantly greater yields at six weeks after seeding for all dates. But mustard biomass production caught up to buckwheat biomass production at eight weeks after seeding. When grown as a biofumigant crop or a winter catch crop, Mustard is commonly seeded at 5 to 10 pounds per acre. We tested four seeding rates to determine the optimal rate for summer seeding. All plots were seeded June 2nd using a brilliant cultipacker. Crop and weed biomass were measured four weeks after planting. Seeding rates were 5 pounds per acre, 10 pounds per acre, 15 pounds per acre, and 20 pounds per acre. Weed biomass was not affected by seeding rate, but it was found that crop biomass increased with seeding rate. The 20 pounds per acre rate produced the most biomass, coming in at 0.6 tons per acre, but was not significantly better than the 15 pounds per acre rate. But when increasing the seeding rate from 10 pounds per acre to 15 pounds per acre, biomass production doubled. Mustard seed is very small and should be seeded into a firm seed bed when establishing a mustard planting. For the trials of this experiment, seeds were planted using a brilliant cultipacker. Seed can be drilled, but seeding depth should not exceed one half inch. Mustard can also be broadcast and rolled for good soil contact. It should not be incorporated. Irrigation following seeding will improve germination. If following vegetable crops, supplemental fertilizer may not be necessary. In conclusion, the URI vegetable production team found that mustard can successfully be seeded as a cover crop throughout the summer in Rhode Island. It is effective at suppressing summer annual weeds. While mustard may not produce as much above-ground biomass as buckwheat, it is more deeply rooted and can be used as a biofumigant to reduce populations of nematodes and pathogenic soil fungi.